Right, hello to the Weathering Water Sports van. <clears throat> um, I'm away on a trip in Cornwall, uh, work trip, uh, testing out uh, equipment as always. And um, yeah, whilst it's fresh in my mind, I wanted to do a video from the van rather than uh, wait until I get back into the shop and I'll probably forget everything. Uh, haven't been out yet today. You can, might be able to hear the rain. I don't know if it's coming up on the mic, but uh, rain's really come down, so there's not much else I can do. So um, <clears throat> thought I'd use this window to kind of put some perfectly mask in some footage of me riding. But yeah, basically the new slick came out a week or two ago. I think it's about a week or two ago. Um, and if I'm completely honest, I haven't been that excited about going back onto a boom. Uh, I got really into using the units because generally I do a lot of different sports and winging has come off my radar a little bit. Uh, I've been kiting a lot and when I do wing I've been really focusing on like doing it uh, in waves. So I moved more onto the units um, in the last sort of year or so. <clears throat> Having originally always had the first slick, well the Echo, the first slick and then the uh sls i had them for a little bit however yeah i want the new unit they obviously staggered the launch dates and stuff and i needed to be up to speed with the different products um the new unit was kind of like quite a big step up i think and had the new carbon boom and the new carbon handle the long handle and i was really excited about that and because i'm wave riding pro like predominantly wave riding and then i have my ventus for super light winds um <clears throat> yeah the slicks have kind of gone off my radar a little bit. Also, like this has come at a really good time. So the slick SLS, um, it has been an amazing value package. They obviously had a huge amount of stock post COVID um, and they have been really good starter wings. Um, well, not even starter wings. I was using them, you know, before they were discounted and I've been using them in waves coming from a windsurfing background, you know, the boom, like personally for me, is slightly more favorable actually. Um, and I say this to like beginners, a lot of my customers are windsurfers that are like planning to take up winging. And I say like, you know, you'll find the boom a lot more natural. Um, but yeah, let's not jump ahead. I'll get into that in a second. <clears throat> but yeah, so this in my head is the fourth version of the slick. There was originally the Echo, which is the first wing that came out by Duotone. Um, which wasn't called the slick, but it was the first like boom concept wing from Duotone, had a really big front bladder, had a really weird like boom attachment, which was like almost a big half semicircle that kind of pushed onto the, the front strut. Um, crazy powerful wings. I don't think it even had a middle strut. I think it just had a bit of rope that you, I think maybe the second generation of, maybe this is generation five, because there was an Echo one and an Echo two. The Echo one just basically roped onto the end the Echo 2 had like a bit of rope that pulled in the center of the, the canopy to stop it from bulging out, but they were just insanely powerful. But to be fair, they were pretty good wings, I think, for like how long ago that was. That was probably like four, five, maybe more years ago. So this like is version four, version five of the Booms wing from Duotone in my head. They would probably call it like, uh, I think it would probably be down as like the slick version three, but I think it's more like version five. There was the original concept slick, which had the square tails, which was my first like proper wings that I bought. Uh, I think I borrowed an echo off Nick. I thought they were amazing. I really liked the square tips, stopped it catching in the water, nice and powerful. Like it was quite rigid because you've got the, the shape on the sides. You've then got the boom in the middle and that went from one end to the other. And I was using like small wings, like threes and fours. So for like maneuverability and like jibing and like jumping, you kind of could really harness the power. Um, they then moved on to the Slick SLS, which in my opinion, wasn't the right thing to do. I think in terms of shapes, like I think the boom and everything, the concept of that is still really good. But the problem from like a shop's perspective and like a marketing perspective and a customer buying perspective, the SLS was very similar in canopy shape. So the V angle and the way the tips went out, they were almost identical to the unit at the time. So from my perspective, well, I find it very hard, to, apart from obviously if you want handles, go for the unit and if you want a boom, go for the slick. Um, I liked it more, which is how they've gone back to when it was the slick is more for flat water freestyle, free ride race. So with the square tips, um, yeah, the boom's nice and powerful. You get full, like you can fully harness all the power. 
good for free riding, good for going out wind, good for harness use, like uh, harness lines. And then the slit, the unit is the more V open-ended delta, which like is a little bit harder to self-right, but it's more stable when you're holding it uh, downwind. Um, yeah, so they've kind of gone back to that concept, which I think is a lot easier for me to market, also a lot easier for customers to buy, and also easier for us to give advice. Um, yeah, so you've got the slick, which is the boom with the, delta, the square shapes, um, which means you can go bigger sizes without catching in the water. I think the boom slightly harnesses a little bit more power than the unit. The unit is still very powerful. Uh, and then you've got the unit, which is a delta. I call it a delta shape coming from kite surfing. It's got a more drawn out uh, wing tip um, and a more V as you look at it straight on. I really hope the rain isn't um, <laughs> coming up on the mic too much. I'll try and edit it out uh, post. Well, this is a bit embarrassing. <clears throat> had to, uh, started editing the video, had to cut it short. I kind of forgot there was a 2023 slick. Uh, so please excuse me on that one. Like I said, I've been using the units and I've been using handles for a while and with kite surfing, uh, foiling and lots of other windsurfing, lots of other sports that I do, uh, I haven't been able to test all of them and I don't actually think I've been on the 2023 slick, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, and looking on the website, I mean, I've sold them. I've just forgotten, forgotten that there was one. Uh, so the 2023 compared to the SLS also had the Mod 3, which is the new thicker material, which is on the units, which people are really liking and is designed to be more durable, but also uh, it is thicker, noticeably thicker, and also um, better at like harnessing the wind. Um, uh, yeah and the canopy performs better, which is what I'm talking about um, on the Slick 2024. So in, for me, I'm jumping from an SLS to a 2024, which is quite a big jump in terms of materials. Um, but there is the one in the middle, which is the mod, uh, which is also mod three, the 2023. But yeah, the main difference between 2023 and 2024 is the shape of the wing. Um, they went quite pulled in on the 2023, which is what I kind of like about the concepts of the slick. Um, but they've gone slightly out. So I think the SLS was pretty, pretty out there, pretty similar to the unit. The 2023 was quite tucked in looking at the pictures and quite straight on the, on the rear tips. And then the 2024 is just slightly out. So just slightly out, but not as much as the, as the unit. Um, and then when you look at the canopy paneling, the 2023 is kind of similar to, to the SLS. There's still a similar amount of panels, but they all run diagonally down. If you look at it, they look diagonally from the wingtips down to the main strut, whereas the 2000, and that's the same with 2023, but the 2024, they, there is still quite a lot of panels, but they're a lot bigger panels. Um, and I think they just, well, uh, yeah. From what I've used, which was only a one session, it felt very good, a lot more stable, a lot more like a windsurfing sail, uh, a lot more like one panel that sort of stretches out and is, is reflexes rather than sort of bagging out and um, yeah, much t tighter leech um, and better for pumping. So yeah, please excuse the fact that I've forgotten one of the products, um, just got a lot of products to do and a lot, of, lot going on. Um, yeah, so I'll get back to the video. <laughs> pretend that didn't happen um yeah so we're on version four version five of the slick um it now comes on the mod basically let's go back to the beginning i wasn't excited about basically trying this I, it was one of the last things i put in the van however i'm really pleased i did put it in the van <clears throat> like i said the slick sls package is basically sold out now they've got through a hell of a lot of stock and they've been a really good product for people getting on the water or getting new or that are trying to buy extra sizes like i think it's a very very good value for money product However, because of the shape of it, I think it kind of lost its original concept a little bit. Um, so I was intrigued to go back onto the boom. But yeah, basically going back onto the boom, I now realize how much I miss the boom. They just harness so much power. You know, you've got the attachment point at the front and at the end, which is just like a windsurfing sail, which means uh, you, you've got full control over the power. I know the handles are very big on the unit and even now the new one, the front one is like 30 centimeters or whatever. And the back one, you've only got a small gap in the middle. The problem is the rear handle stops sort of halfway down the, the bat, the central strut. And with a, with a proper boom, like on the slick, it runs from the front to almost the very end. So there's no flex on the rear tip really. So when you pump, you get all of that power. And I think for getting going, flat water, gusty conditions, if you're a bit heavier, 
uh, your technique maybe isn't quite like as good as someone who's out in waves. Um, yeah, like I think there's loads of benefits. Harness use, you're like a, just like a windsurfing sail, you're able to harness the full width of the wing. Uh, and I've missed that. Like I think it's funny how when you use something, you obviously you don't really you don't really forget what you don't have. Uh, but when you then go back onto it, you're like, well, you know, I think there is a little bit of something there. Um, so yeah, super pleased that I tried it. Um, yeah, so it now comes on the Mod 3 material, which is the same as the new units. I think that's also the same as the 23 units. So the version 3 and the version 4 have both been on the Mod 3. Uh, the Mod 3 is a thicker material than the SLS, or also thicker than the original slick. The SLS, I believe, was a little bit thinner. Those wings do stretch out a tiny bit quicker than other wings, whereas the Mod 3 is a bit heavier, but it is thicker, which means it's less likely to rip. Um, it also means... Uh, uh, is stronger and when you're rolling up the canopy you can really feel it. it feels like a heavyweight sort of jacket or like a tent like you know when you're sort of like messing around with like technical equipment um, it's definitely thicker I'll try and get some close-ups and put it in the side of this shot um, of the material but when I was rolling it up I was really like oh wow like this I, I didn't realize it was the mod 3 I, I just realized and recognized it was a lot thicker um, which is really good especially if you're using it as on flat water or you're doing jumps or freestyle like it's less likely to sort of um, fail um, but also what they say, which does tie in, it's hard for me to sort of like notice it, um, but the Mod 3 is more stable, uh, um, like with gust management. Uh, the reason I say I don't really notice it is because the slick, they've already changed the panels. So the panels now run almost with the front leading edge. Uh, they used to be different cuts. Uh, also it being a thicker material. Yeah, it's just like the way it harnesses the gusts and like harnesses the power. It's very stable and everything you kind of want from a flat water free ride wing. Um, I'll, I'll put some shots. I got some shots where you can see the creases. It almost looks like a windsurfing sail, like running up the leech. Um, it's just exhausting, like, like nice and stable, like a chimney. Like I always talk about windsurfing sails, a chimney, the power goes in the bottom of a windsurfing sail and it exhausts up through your leech. Uh, obviously the power comes into the middle of the wing and exhausts up towards the two tips. But normally the sort of the top one kind of is the one that's sort of exhausting out. And you'll see in the shop that it's kind of got a few nice little creases and it's, it's feeding out really nicely. And it felt very stable, even though we we're in a easterly uh, Marazine. Um, yeah, it was quite gusty. Some of the gusts were sort of 10, 15, not stronger. Um, yeah, let's keep going with the information I've written down. I'm trying to be a bit more organized with my videos. Uh, it comes in two colors. Um, so there's like the lime green, which uh, lime lime yellow lime green that i i'm really impressed with i don't normally go for that sort of color um i normally a bit of a blue person go with a standard blue um yeah but it yeah it looks really cool it's nice and bright on the water it's easy to see a lot of people when i came in said they commented they could see it and it was like very punchy um i don't think it's quite accurate on the website i think it's a bit more yellow than the green that's on the website um but you'll see that in the video footage anyway it's nice and bright and then there's the blue which is um, <clears throat> the turquoise, uh, well, they call it coral. Oh, coral, because there's a bit of blue at the top, actually, right by the strut. But the main, the main canopy is the really bright blue, which is on the new version three, um, version four units, which has just come out. And that, that color is very popular and quite hard to get hold of on the units. And I think actually looking at the B2B, uh, that blue is also becoming very popular with the slicks. But don't be scared of the yellow. The yellow is really cool, um, yeah. Also available in a concept blue, which is um, concept blue is like a thing that uh, Duotone are kind of rolling out across all of the Duotone range. They've got some kites that are the same and also some clothing. It's basically like a more eco-conscious product. Uh, so it's undyed material. So it looks white, but it's actually off-white. It's almost like a gray cream color. It's basically an undyed um, fabric. So obviously a lot less um, chemicals are used and a lot less water is used um, so it's a lot better for the environment they've also i don't know about on the, the slick but i know on the kites they use recycled plastic parts on the bridle systems uh, i'm trying to think if there are any plastic parts really on the slick maybe the battens but i don't know need to check that out um, but yeah looks really cool like looks like a prototype like some people really like that i always liked having prototype sales and stuff like that um, and then also you can put stickers on them if you want to, but I guess that 
reduces the point of it being more eco-friendly. But yeah, they've got that, that version, which I believe is a very similar shape, just in different materials. Whereas there's the D-Lab, which if anyone's used the Alula materials, which all the brands are now copying. And I think Duotone were one of the first, if not the first to use it. Um, the Alula is a composite material, which is the yellow, uh, like plasticky kind of feeling, quite hard feeling material. Um, I say to customers 15, 20%, maybe even more performance. I know the price is quite a bit more, but especially in the low end on the wings, the power that um, comes from that is insane. Oh, here comes Pasty. I'm doing a video. Sorry, really interrupted by Pasty. Um, just about to go on the water, the wind's picked up and the rain stopped. I'll probably cut that bit out, so it might be a sudden jump in the video. Uh, where was I? Yeah, the Alula, the D-Lab. So yeah, I'd say like 15, 20%, maybe even more uh, performance, especially on the low end. The wing canopy, although this new slick is very rigid, I would say, the, the main strut and the central strut is made from the Alula. It means when you pump it, it's just very, very rigid. Um, well worth a go. Once you try it, most people end up like, if they can afford it, going for it. And then, yeah, we've had people that buy them in their bigger sizes and now like progressing and buying more in their other sizes. They really are like worth their money, I believe. And that's what I've got in my Ventus. That's a D-Lab and my unit 4.5 is a D-Lab. And it's only my smallest, my three, which I'm using in very strong winds. Um, I actually want it to be a bit more forgiving. Um, one thing you can do with all wings is reduce the pressure a little bit and that will give you a bit more forgiveness. Uh, but yeah. And with the kites, generally the Alulas um, aren't actually technically, aren't actually exactly the same shape uh, because the materials and the properties and the materials are slightly different. Um, they do actually uh, change the shapes on the kites. And that's the same with the SLSs. I don't know about the wings. I'd need to find out from the designers. They might just change the materials with the other material, but maybe someone will comment. I can speak to them and maybe we can put a comment below. Uh, but yeah, what I'm saying is on the kites, the standard, the SLS and the Alula, the D-Lab are all different, slightly different shapes to compensate for the change in the materials. Um, on the wings, I just don't know. Uh, I imagine they would have definitely tested it and they wouldn't have put it on there if it made any, if it, if it uh, hindered the performance. I'm sure they would have tweaked the shape slightly if they needed to. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get an answer from that. Uh, yeah, I've talked about going back to the original concept like the slick as the free ride, a uh, very tight leech. So when you're yeah, pumping, um, not very tight, but um, just holds and harnesses the power, which is exactly what you want from a free ride, freestyle, you know, boom concept wing. Um, uh, yeah, but yeah, I hope you can watch the footage alongside. I'm trying to think what else happened. Just really enjoyed it and really pleased I brought it. Uh, definitely thinking about adding some slicks into my range. So maybe Ventus is my biggest, my light wind, maybe my five or my four five or my five five could be slick. And then four five, when we get waves in the UK, four five and down or something like that could be my units. Um, I appreciate a lot of people like the unit because it all folds into one bag. You don't have to worry about the boom, but there's a lot of people that are on lakes, uh, yeah, racing, flat water, gusty conditions. I, I do genuinely think that uh, a boom is a better concept for those conditions. There's nothing wrong, both, you know, both of them are wings, they both have massive overlap, they both do the same thing, they both hold the wind and let you go foiling, but you know, there are pros and cons of both, and I would say the unit is more a wave wing, uh, just because it has more V in it as you look at it, and it sits a bit more stable when you're holding the handle. <clears throat> um, don't know if it's any lighter, you could actually weigh them. I imagine with the SLS boom on the slick, they're probably pretty similar in weight, and now they've got the carbon handle on the unit, um, but yeah. The slick, what we're talking about here in this video is the slick, which is a free ride flat water uh, machine really. Uh, yeah, give it a go. We've got some on demo. We've got a demo day in about <clears throat> two weeks time. It's not the weekend coming, it's the weekend after. Definitely will be slicks there and slicks in D-Labs as well. Um, but yeah, any questions, put them below or any other products you want me to review. Um, I'm waiting on my new Ventus D-Lab to come and I'll try that against my old one. Uh, but I love the Ventus, I think for its use you know in that in that really super light wind they are very very good they are like you know unit slick ventus in terms of like progression for light winds and stuff um but yeah hope you guys are getting on the water um and speak to you soon bye